We're playing Hunter Call of the Wild and we're going to be building the cheapest gun in the game and seeing how it holds up to some good old hunting. We're going to be going to a ton of different maps and hunting a ton of different animals to see how this thing actually holds up. But first things first, we're going into the store and we're going to see what is the cheapest gun in the game. We're in the store right now. We're going straight down and we're going to see what's cheap. Straight off the bat, the 223 is only 6,000. That's pretty cheap. We're looking for something that's cheaper. Now these are technically free, but that's because I had to pay real money for a DLC. So we're really not even going to count those. That one, 40,000. Okay. Well, that's a whole lot more expensive than 6,000. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, 5,500. That's technically the cheapest and it's a 22 Hornet. That's actually really cool. There's 10,000. Man, for 10,000, the 6.5 is a heck of a gun. But 10,000 is quite a bit more than 5,500. 7,000 for the 22,250, that's actually pretty cheap. And then that really comes down and that's pretty much all the guns that are cost. The Ranger 243 is actually free and this one's actually free with the base game. So technically this is the cheapest game because it comes with the game for free. We will keep that in mind. Let's see what kind of shotguns are cheap or if any of them's cheap. Looking at one, two, and three and they're all $45,000. Here's one that's actually only six thousand dollars and when it comes down to bows the bear claw is six thousand this one's forty eight thousand and this one's six thousand so you know it's okay with that being said i think i got a pretty good idea of which one's the cheapest so let's go ahead and build the loadout i think we're actually going to start with the 22 hornet which was fifty five hundred dollars and from what i could tell was the cheapest gun in the game besides the 243 which actually comes free with the game so I think we do a real basic loadout. Let's run around with these two guns and let's see what we can kill. But we gotta get some scopes. First thing, we'll load up with some ammo, the cheapest ammo we could get. This scope actually came free with the game. So we're loading that one up and we're going hunting with it. When it comes down to collars, none of these collars was actually free with the game. However, I do wanna go ahead and pack a deer bleak call. And if you will allow me to, I want to bring out this jackrabbit collar cause I might have some ideas for some fox. When we come down to binoculars, the Apex binoculars that actually has a rangefinder built in aren't actually free. However, these vintage binoculars are free. And so that's what we're going to use. This could be pretty hard because I'm not actually going to know how far the animals are from me. Big thanks to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Hunting Clash is a mobile hunting game with a ton of different weapons, different locations, and you can even make it competitive with player versus player gameplay. I can even come over here to lure cards. As you play, you get to unlock different lure cards, making different animals more and more, you know, like possible to kill, more likely, I guess. I like hunting black bears, so I'm gonna set it to the black bear. There we go. There's the black bear we've been looking for. Put it right there in his shoulder. Ooh. Oh, a little far back, but still enough to kill him. Here's the different weapons. Just like real life, you use different guns for different animals. Download Hunting Clash with the link in the description, the QR code on the screen, and use my special gift code KENDALL, all caps, and that's going to get you a $15 value straight out the gate for free. You'll be getting the Montana pack, which includes a bunch of different things that are pretty hard to unlock without it. Once again, big thanks to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. But without further ado, we're starting off on the Spain map, which is actually kind of funny because I never hunt here. We actually got an Iberian Malfaloon, whatever the heck that is, right over here. So right here is the 243, probably what we're gonna be doing most of our hunting with. And here's the scope. Ooh, the maximum zoom is four power. The scope quality is not that good. As for the 22 Hornet, same exact scope, but it's a little bit different. If I wanted to, I can technically knock the scope off and go with these iron sights, which honestly aren't too bad. But for now, let's pull out the binoculars and see if we can find that big sheep that just made a sound. Oh yeah, this is a lot different than I'm used to. Oh, we got a pheasant right over here. It's a mating call, so it doesn't know we're here yet. The pheasant will actually be a perfect thing to shoot with the 22 Hornet. However, I would love to find those goats and shoot them, or sheep, whatever a malfaloon is, I don't know. Here's what a real one looks like. I ain't never even heard of them. Wait, 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 look, 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 look. It's an animal, it's a roe deer. Oh, there goes something. What? Is, oh, there goes the malfaloon. Oh, I wonder if I spooked it. Man, those trees are bigger than I thought. I thought those were bushes. Those are actually full on trees. Okay, well, we're gonna have to make something happen because I I can't shoot that far with this scope. I can't shoot that far at all. 
I'm just going to keep that in mind. But this roe deer, which was actually really close. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a female roe deer. It doesn't know I'm here yet. Somehow it's super close to me. We could technically shoot it with the 243, but I would like to see if I can find a male. I think that's the second roe deer we've seen. So, I mean, I feel like there's actually probably a pretty good chance we see another one. I gotta keep my eyes open. I would like to really get on some of the, oh, there went one. It's still calm, doesn't even know I'm here. I guess it's gonna get away. It's moving pretty quick. No, nah, it ain't getting away. We shooting that thing. All right, let's see if we can get in a position to take that shot. It's a female, but that's okay. Let's see, it should be popping up any second. Unless it went into the, is that it? Is that it? Nope. If it went into the sunflowers, it's gonna make it quite harder to find it. Oh, what about that? Three animals gave us the slip already. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, there goes the pheasant. The pheasant gave us the slip. Those big sheep things gave us the slip. And then the roe deer went straight into these, whatever you call these sunflowers, I guess, and got away from us. Okay, score one for the animals. They have gotten away today. They better not get used to it because I ain't letting that happen much. Let's walk this way and see if we can catch up with those mouthloons. Oh, wait, there's one, there's one. There we got a roe deer. It's a male roe deer, two of them, and they're just over there eating. That one, top end trophy, is a 78. This one, 67. This is the one we need to go for. It says it's around 140 to 190 yards away. We don't actually have specific yardage, but the good thing is that a roe deer isn't a super tough animal. I think we can take it, boys. We're gonna zero for 164. Oh man, you can see how small the animal is compared to my sight. I could get closer, but I think I'm gonna try it. Oh, that had to be pretty good. Let's watch him. Let's watch him, see if he's going down. Oh, dude, no way. No way I didn't hit him right. Dude. Well, we better get over there. I felt like I hit him good. Maybe a little far forward, but not really, not that much. All right, here we got a roe deer. I'm gonna shoot it too, buddy. If we can get two on the ground, that's better than one. All right, that had to have been a good shot. Yeah, it's going down real quick. See, if you make the right shot on the right animal, everything is gonna go down eventually. Let's get Jamal to track and see if we can find that big male. After we find this roe deer, I say let's get out of here and go to a map. I actually know where to hunt. See, right here is where I shot that one. That's pretty good. They eat all down in this valley. I'll keep it in mind, but I don't really know if I love this place. Let's see. No trophy, but I did get a pretty good hit. It's pretty okay, but I don't know if this is really what I need. Where's he at? Where's Jamal? Oh, Jamal's way up here somewhere. I, he either found it or he got me on the blood trail. Kind of curious just to see. Let's check the blood right here. Dude, that thing may not be going down. I don't think that, I don't think this roe deer's going down. I think I may have just messed it up. Yeah, uh, he's losing a little bit of blood, but not much. Either way, it's not a vital hit. We're not gonna get very much integrity out of him. I say let's go, Jamal. Let's keep in mind it's just a game. It's not a, that big of a deal. And let's move over and let's go to the Yukon Valley and see what we can hunt with the cheapest gun in the game. <laughs> Welcome to the Yukon Valley. This is the land of big animals. I think we might see our first animal out there right now. Okay, never mind. It was just a rock. All right, there's your first big animal. We got wolves. That ain't even the big animals I'm talking about. But I don't think we're going to waste any time. I think we're going to try to take them. Let's see. All right, they're about 200 yards away. Shoot, son. If we make the right shot, I think we can probably kill one of these wolves. But they're pretty far away. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Missed him. I stinking missed him. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Did we get him? Dude, my bullets ain't flying. Oh, come on. Oh, I think I hit him. Oh, I did hit him, but he ain't going down. He's strong. Dude, how did that not hit him? He should have walked right into it. Yeah, one thing about these bigger animals, especially some of the big, big ones like a moose and bison, this gun isn't really rated for big animals. And that's a problem because if you shoot a bison with this thing, it's not going down anytime soon. So you really gotta be pretty picky over what you decide to shoot. And I am kind of surprised that these wolves didn't, uh, I don't know, die. See if I can find a blood spot right here. I felt like I hit him good, but I mean, maybe not. He didn't seem to be going down. I feel like a few of those shots should have hit him, but for whatever reason, it did it. Let's see, Jamal. Track a little bit. Let's find the blood drill and we'll analyze from there. Let's see, here's some blood. Bleed rate. Very low, and that's a pretty big animal. I'ma say he's not going down. I'll pull up my binoculars and look down there and see if I see him, but I don't. 
I don't see the wolf anywhere. It's pretty rough. I'd say, yeah, I don't think he died. Definitely makes it tough. There's not a lot of small animals on Yukon that we can actually hunt. I know a spot where red fox actually sleep right over here at this waypoint. So we're gonna make our way down the waypoint. Luckily, I did go ahead and pack this right here, the rabbit collar, and we might be able to call it in close enough to shoot it with the 22 Hornet. I think that would be awesome. Unfortunately, with this loadout that we built, both of these guns really aren't that good at taking down big game, and they're even kind of not really that great at taking around mid-sized game. We're gonna try some deer hunting later in the video. The 243 isn't even that good at killing deer, but we're gonna give it a try. Oh, did you hear that? Something just made a big yell over this hill. We're gonna creep over and see what it is. Should be able to see it real quick. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, it's a moose. The moose honestly looks like it's walking straight towards me. It stinks, because even with a really good shot on a moose, you're still probably not even going to kill it with the 243. You just got to have a bigger gun, bigger bullet. And as easy as it would be to just pull up and shoot, I think we're going to have to let it pass, because we just don't really have a good chance of killing it. But it looks like it's fleeing. That's probably for the better. We'll leave it alone and keep to something smaller. All right, guys, well, I didn't find us a red fox, but I did actually find us some wolves. I mean, I would feel a lot more comfortable if we were able to try to take a shot on something like a red fox, but a gray wolf? Well, we've done shot one of them, and we've seen how that went. I don't think that's going to stop me, though. We got them down here resting. Might actually give us a really good opportunity to get close and get in position to take a really good shot. However, you can look out there and see, I'm looking at at least eight different wolves. If this whole thing goes south and they try to attack me, I don't really know if the two cheapest guns in the game are going to be my best friend. That's a risk I'm willing to take. So let's go ahead and get as close as we can and we'll pick out the biggest wolf and we will see if we can kill it with the cheapest gun in the game. Looks like we got some snow coming. That's going to change the map so much. Let me check in on those wolves. I could take a, that one in the back is the biggest, but he's also laying down. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. If the wolves get after me and I'm in the snow, might be that one right there. That one's giving me pretty good opportunity. The rest of them all seem to be laying down, but that one right there, I feel like I can get a nearly broadside shot. So honestly, we're about 150 yards away. Let's pull out this. Oh, geez. They're a lot closer than I thought. They're actually right there. We are really close. Hope for the best. Aim for the heart. All right, all right, all right, all right. Dang it, dang it, they're aggressive. Oh, we messed up. Oh my gosh. Hurry, hurry, sights off, sights off. Oh gosh, oh gosh. They're on me. They're on me. Ah, ah, ah. Shoot it. Shoot, shoot. Get out of the way, Jamal. Get out of the way. All right, that one just died. This is a serious situation, dude. You can't be messing around like that. There's one, there's one, there's one. They're all coming in. Reload while you got the chance. Or I don't know if I'm gonna make it out alive. If I can get on that rock, I think I can make it. Get on the rock before they attack me. Get on the rock before they attack me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, get out of here. Buddy. Eat that or something. <sighs> ah, gosh, ah! Get on the rock, get on the rock! Ah, ah. ah you didn't even reload your gun! Ah! Note to self, cheapest gun in the game isn't really that great for self-defense. Noted. My chair broke again. I guess we'll respawn. Anyways, I'm out of here. We're leaving the Yukon. It's way too dangerous here. Let's go to sinking Silver Ridge Peaks. It should be really nice there, and hopefully there's not as many animals that want to kill me. Silver Ridge Peaks. This is where it all started for me, man. This was the first map that I bought and the first map that I actually got really comfortable with and really started enjoying the game. There's a lot of awesome animals and right over here's a big horned sheep. Let's go shoot it. Oh, 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 oh. I think I spooked it. I think I spooked it. We may have to take a running shot right here. Oh gosh. Where was that? Did you hear that elk bugle? Where did that happen? We got a mule deer. It's right behind the trees, man. Right where we can't see. I'm gonna pull out the binoculars and keep an eye on it. Oh, no, no, no. It's coming to us. That'll be perfect if it walks out a little bit more. All right, we'll take that shot. All right. Looks like we got a good hit on it, though. We got a good hit, right? Oh, come on. Come on. 
dude, I feel like my bullets just aren't exiting the gun. Like, I feel like a few of those shots probably sh could have killed it, but they just didn't hit. Hmm. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the gun or what, but I feel like a few of those shots should have hit the animal more than they did. It's really strange. Luckily, it didn't go overall too far, and it's actually laying right here. We'll keep looking for our next animal. It could be right around the corner. Who knows? It could literally be anywhere. It's a doe, but we will take it. Where'd I hit it at? Pretty good shot. Straight in the lung. Almost got double lung. One thing about the 243, it doesn't necessarily penetrate that great. So we hit it right here, and it had a chance to hit the other lung but it just didn't have enough energy to penetrate. We are moving spots. I'm actually moving right over here. I would like to get on some bighorn sheep. I meant mountain goat. There's a mountain goat right there. It's actually fleeing though. I don't know how I walked right up on that thing and didn't even know it was there. Either way, man, it's, oh, here we go, here we go. It's hard to kill them when they know you're there because at that point, you're almost just gonna get butt shots. But this one's just alert. If we can get this thing to turn ever so slightly. Yeah, we got him now. Oh, 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 hit it a little far back. I think it's going down though. Yeah, good hit, good hit. It's going down. It went down. Sweet. Oh, yes. And way out there's a big horn. We're going to have to hold high if we're going to hit it, but I think we might as well try it. Reload, get a few more bullets. Thinking we hold right on its spine. Jamal, you best get out of the way. You better lose a tail, buddy. Get out of the way. We're going to have to hold the top of its back, but I need it to go broadside very bad. All right, we're almost there. It's not necessarily broadside. I need that thing to go broadside for me to take a shot. Jamal, you're seriously going to have to lay down. All right, okay, it's coming back close, actually. It might give us a real shot right here if it stops. I'm going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that thing. The mountain goat gave us a decent shot, but this bighorn's, it's lining itself up. It's going to give us a good shot if it'll ever stop. Stop right there. Yes. Oh, that was good. He's going down. Dude, that's a good one, too. He's down. He's down right there. Dude, we're stinking cleaning house with this thing. The 243 isn't a bad gun. It's just not a very forgiving gun, if I had to say that. But you put a really good scope on it that you can actually see really far, get really precise shots. It can kill about whatever you want it to. But like I was saying, you gotta hit it about perfect. But if we do like we did on this mountain goat and that big horn sheep, it's okay. Cause this one, we got a good single lung. Didn't have enough energy to really penetrate for a double lung, but it went down soon enough. Nope, there's more big horns. Nope, mountain goat, mountain goat, Kendall, mountain goat. I get mountain goat and big horn switched up so much. One's a goat and one's a sheep. So they're actually pretty different. This is a big horn sheep. Let's go. Silver, not bad. Single lung, but pretty perfect placement. Let's switch maps once again. Do we go to Leighton Lakes, huh? Do we go to Yukon? Done been there. D been there, done that. Don't want to do it again. Ooh, Tiawara. Now that sounds cool. Let's do that and let's see if we can kill a Sika deer. Tiawara is so cool. What a place and what a random forest filled up with all kinds of non-native animals. If you don't know, New Zealand's got a lot of cool animals, but not really many of them actually started there. A lot of humans brought them in and dumped them out, so I guess they could hunt them for fun. But let's see if we can find a Sika deer. Oh, look at that rock. That's a nice rock. It's not a rock, it's a boulder. Could be a male out here in this big flat. Ooh, some sickas. They are! Dude, let's go! Oh, the whole bottom's full of sika deer. Before I try to swoop in and take a shot, I'm gonna see what, where these guys are actually going. That way I learn a little bit more about these animals. Something I don't hardly ever hunt. It's looking like they're coming to drink. They are, they're drinking. That's perfect. We're right on top of a drink zone. And it looks like I got unlimited sika deer, dude. Look how many sika deer I got. Let's go with me figuring out which one's the biggest. That one's a 115. That one's an 88. Oh, and we got more over here, dude. Dude, I have found so many Sika deer right over here. Let me let me show you guys the map. That way you know where I'm at. Way over here, it's about 1030. And I guess, 1030, man, I guess they're getting thirsty, I guess. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I've never seen so many Sika deer. And I think we just found the new big one, which is that guy right there. Over there, some drinking zones. Here's another one. I think I may have just hit the jackpot when it comes to, is that one in the water? What is he doing in the water? What is that, is that ducks? Yep, there's the ducks right there. They are mallards. Dude, we're just chilling. We're just watching at this point. We're seeing all kinds of stuff. 
Here's a sick of deer moving right up on me, walking right up on top of me. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna just go down and see what happens. Yep, there goes the ducks right there and they landed right on the water feeding zone. We are learning all kinds of things right now. This Sitka deer is asking for it, bro. Look at him whistling at me. He's close too. If I had a bow, I'd shoot him, but I don't want to shoot him because I have some potential to kill a pretty big one right down there. Kind of just want to spook this guy off. Hopefully he'll run away. Seek a deer, wow, never really thought you'd be so bold. He's not afraid of me at all. There he goes, he's gonna start running, there we go. Oh, that's a 175, that's the new biggest one we've seen. That's our now, that is now our priority. This could potentially be a diamond. I have no idea, I have no idea if that's actually true, but he feels like he could be a diamond. So I wanna make sure I get a really good shot on him. If we can get into about 160, I'll take the shot. That's where I feel comfortable with this four power scope. Who knows, if I can, I might even get closer. Oh, and way over there is one that's even bigger. Wow. All right, sick of deer, we're leaving you behind. We got a new target, cause he is even bigger than all the rest. And we don't care if we spook some of these. It's it's fine. We're going to focus all of our marbles on this new sick of deer way over here, which has a top end of 189. That's a big one. All right, guys, we're getting pretty close. We're gonna, I'm going to start wanting to walk slower and slower. If I can get him with his head up, I might be able to slip it right in front of his shoulder and try to get at least one lung. If I don't kill this deer, I'm going to be pretty upset about it because this is a really good one. I'm gonna say we set up right here, honestly. Get right here at this tree, crouch down a little bit. Oh, now he's alert. All right, boys, take the shot. Let's see what we can do. Now, before we take a shot on this sick of deer, I wanna say, if you want some merch, go to kindlegrayoutdoors.com. We got a bunch of different stuff. We got shirts, hats, backpacks, bunch of different stuff. And for you guys, use promo code GAMING10, all caps, 10% off your entire order. Even a gut hook pocket knife, if that's what you want. Now, let's get back to the game and let's see if we can kill this sick of deer. Oh my gosh, he's so far away. Oh no, 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 no. Turn broadside for us. Turn broadside for us. We need you to turn broadside. Ain't got no way my bullet can make it through that much meat. Ah, it's the wrong direction, but it's okay. Looks like we're gonna have to get closer. Can I slip in a heart shot? Oh, 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 I slipped something in. Oh, come on, no way. All right, I hit him twice. Oh, 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 that second shot may have been a vital hit. It's going down, it went down. Dude, I don't know what happened on that first shot unless he ducked his head into it. If I hit his head, that's bad. That's a really good sick of deer not to get good integrity on. Oh no, dude, that first shot was not a good shot. But the second shot, Made him go down pretty quick. Oh man. It's a gold. Okay, the first shot, where did I hit him? Dude, no way. It hit him really well. It just barely hit that bone first and didn't have enough to actually hit the lung. Otherwise, that would have been a perfect shot, but we just didn't have enough power to push through. The second shot, wow. We got a little too lucky, I'll say on that and hit the liver. If we hadn't hit the liver, we wouldn't have got even a gold. So apparently to be a diamond, it has to be at least like on 198. I think this is a pretty good spot to kill some sick of deer. So I'm actually gonna harvest this guy. Not gonna mount him, but I will be back. Cluter here for the most expensive gun in the game or right over here for where I hunted every single animal on this Tiawara New Zealand map. 